Good day, my name is Al Kirsten. I'm the guest services manager. Welcome aboard the beautiful Independence of the Seas. Welcome to Royal Caribbean. My name is Louise and I'm from Denmark. I'm a guest services officer on board Independence of the Seas. I'm looking forward to welcome you all on your next cruise vacation here on Independence of the Seas. Hello, hi, nice to meet you. My name is Theo. I'm a captain uh, on Independence of the Seas for the last uh, four and a half years, actually, since uh, startup in uh, Finland when she was finished in April 2008. It's a beautiful cruise ship with a lot of uh, people on board. You know, it's quite a nice uh, responsibility actually to take care of 5,000 people and take them around the world but I tell you there's nothing like uh, being at sea for me or I try to convey that feeling to everybody that is on board so what captain job is to make everybody feel safe and comfortable to find the right port and uh, to keep ship uh, safe without scratch I've been doing this for a while. My first ship was in 1980 when I was 17 years old and a lot of things changed since then. From digital technology to GPS's and uh, we actually now can see where we are in the world. So all these 30 years of experience I put in place here and uh, try to make everybody actually as excited as I am still excited about being at sea. You see Almost 72% of our planet is covered with water and even if you've been everywhere like a late Pope, you still miss three quarters of the world unless you've been on the cruise or on the ship. So I've been sailing for 30 years and still every day I'm excited to see the water and uh, all these uh, spectacular images around us. Just the feel to be at sea is something that, something that I cherish and I miss when I'm home. Of course, I miss home when I'm on the ship, but that's a sailor's life and you don't have to get used to it. It's my, my part of a bargain here. So what I wanted to say, it's uh, being at sea, it's therapy, it's connection to the world. Wherever you go, every road you take around the world, someone was there before and it's always see the trails of something. But at sea, there are no trails. The sea looks exactly the same like it was a billion years ago. And this is the magic. So everybody comes to the ship expecting different things. But what they take back is that one little memory. A certain moment during the cruise, during the day, where they find themselves just looking in the horizon or close into the water and all of a sudden they connected with the whole world. And everybody experienced that, at least for a moment longer or shorter on the cruise and this is why they come back some of them they don't even notice that but I know they do so this is what is cruising all about that connection independence of the sea is the greatest ship afloat it's my life it's my Wimbledon it's everything that I enjoy is on this ship and uh, I really have great team with me 
I have 1400 crew here and some of them they're here from the beginning like I so I, I know them they know me it's almost like a running smoke city we are taking care of more than 4,000 people on board we have a lot of things to do you know bigger ship is not bad thing especially when the waves are big you know on the bigger ship raves the waves are relatively smaller so don't worry about it on a bigger ship you can put more things than on a small ship and on a bigger ship even there is plenty of people you have much bigger chance to find nice quiet place than anywhere else or good jolly and interesting company as well we have many more restaurants many more bars than the other ships we have five swimming pools kids pool all kind of stuff but we also have boxing ring biggest gym afloat ship imagine ship is 50 meter wide ship is 340 meters long and ship is 64 meters above the water so imagine that we can put a lot of things on it and uh, one of my favorite is ice skating rink and my, my skaters they do fantastic shows down there so it's interesting when we come in a port and you can see actually the ship is bigger than some of the cities we go to so now you know what to do next time you wish to cruise book independence find me and i show you around all right My name is Kevin Thurgood, I'm your hotel director on this beautiful vessel, the Independence of the Seas. A uh, little bit about myself, um, I graduated from culinary school in the late 80s um, and worked my way as a sous chef in, in Europe, um, Austria, Germany, um, Switzerland. Um, and then I went back to London and worked in some hotel chains. Um, and then in 2003 decided to embark on a career at sea and I haven't looked back since. Now working for this fantastic company, Royal Caribbean, on this most amazing vessel, the Independence of the Seas. Independence of the Seas inaugurated in April 2008, um, and for the last few years has been very much based in the Southampton, the UK, doing some wonderful cruises around the Mediterranean, Canary Islands. Um, November we came back to Florida, which is where we're going to be based each year now for the winter season doing some beautiful six day and eight day cruises around the Caribbean. And on this 160,000 uh, ton vessel, we have some of the most amazing facilities. Starting with your staterooms, we have uh, 1,817 staterooms, 864 of those have balconies, so those of you that just like to relax in the afternoons and watch the sea go by, perfect for you to relax. Uh, we have uh, a royal suite, um, and we also have a presidential suite that takes up to 14 guests um, with the most amazing facilities inside. Um, and as you walk around the, the ship, um, our interior, we have the most fantastic royal promenade, which a lot of ships don't have in the industry. And it's the hub and center of our nightlife. A um, lot of activities where our gift shops are, our bars, operations, and we do a lot of shows. Um, the independence of the seas is second to none when it comes to innovations. Um, we have water park on the open deck with our H2O zone for the kids. Um, the main swimming pools, six jacuzzis and a, an adult only solarium area for those who just want to relax in peace and quiet. Um, the ship itself will have a maximum of 42, 4300 guests. We have 1,380 crew for your services. In those 1,350 crew, we have a lot of nationalities, a lot of languages from all over the world, 67 different nationalities on board, um, and every single one of them wants to get to meet you. So please stop by, say hello to everybody you see, because they'll say hello to you. Thank you for the opportunity to show you around the independence of the seas, and we look forward to welcoming you in the near future.
Welcome to the Independence of the Seas. Uh, my name is Terence Vaz. Uh, I'm the executive housekeeper on board. Uh, my duties uh, responsibilities uh, is uh, most to do with uh, housekeeping responsibilities. We take care of all the guest staterooms, suites. Uh, we also take care of all the guest laundry services on board as well. And let me introduce to you Monica. Monica is our hotel admin over here. Hello, my name is Monica, as I said, and I've been working for Royal Caribbean 11 years. I'm the hotel administrative assistant on board. I assist the hotel director, uh, Kevin Thorogood, who is in charge of making sure that this ship works as a hotel. And uh, he also, for example, uh, has his divisions uh, reporting to him, such as food and beverage, maintenance, housekeeping, which is Terence, in charge of that division. and. Um, the entertainment division, everything that is necessary to make the ship a, a hotel. Good morning and welcome aboard the beautiful Independence of the Seas. My name is Al Kears. I'm the guest services manager on board the vessel. And I'm here this morning with my lovely group coordinator, Ingrid. Hello, how are you all? My name is Ingrid. I am the onboard group coordinator on board the Independence of the Seas. I'm working for Royal Caribbean since 2005. Uh, my duties on board is to uh, plan uh, meetings, uh, corporate events, um, social reunions. So if you would like to plan any special event, please come to see us. I'm looking forward to see you on board the Independence of the Seas. Okay, and we're currently doing our lovely Caribbean cruise, so welcome aboard. Uh, I hail from lovely Orlando, Florida. Uh, I've actually been at sea a short time, uh, only two years. Uh, but my job basically is to ensure that you have a wonderful experience on board. Uh, my job entails overseeing the front desk operation, group meetings, and also the concierge and diamond level, which is our specialty levels uh, for our suite guests and our upper tier uh, crown and anchor members. Uh, and basically put, my job is to liaise between the guests and the other departments to ensure you have a wonderful experience on board. So, uh, also, we liaise with our cruise division, which includes our Adventure Ocean, which is our basically our membership or our activities for children. Uh, all of our team in there are trained, uh, at least with a four-year degree in some form of child education or child recreation. Hi, I'm Kimberly Dent. I'm from England. I am a youth staff here on board the Independence of the Seas. Um, this is Aventuration. At the moment, you are currently in our Aquanaut Art Corner. We have three different age groups. We have Aquanauts, which is three to five, Explorers, which is six to eight, and our Voyagers, which is nine to 11. We do so, do so um, also have a team program, which goes from 12 to 14 and 15 to 17. And right at the beginning, we have our Fisher Price Royal Babies and Tots as well. Well, hello uh, to you. My name is Joff, Joff Eaton. I'm the cruise director on board the Independence of the Seas for Royal Caribbean International. I come from Chichester, which is a small city in West Sussex on the south coast of England, not too far from Southampton, where, of course, this ship is based for uh, our main uh, European summer itineraries. And I've been at sea for 20 years uh, coming on this year, having spent two uh, 15 years with two other companies and then I joined Royal Caribbean in 2008. It's my role as the cruise director to ensure the enjoyment of all guests in terms of our entertainment programming uh, in the theatre, in our secondary lounges, of course in our ice skating venue Studio B, uh, the Royal Promenade, the pool decks and all the other venues, lounges and uh, piano bars and pubs that we have on board. It's a rather busy ship as I'm sure you've seen with the other footage uh, in this particular video. And um, my role has various aspects to it. There, of course, is the planning side of the, uh, the cruise, which we do well in advance of each particular voyage, looking at the itinerary, the sailing times, looking at how we can maximize the, the, uh, the best show times and events and activities for the guests and the flow of the guests on board. And we put that together, as I say, weeks in advance of each voyage uh, 
uh, going up. And the front of house side, which really involves the presenting of the main shows and uh, our, uh, our general interaction, socialising with our guests, ensuring that uh, the guest experience is, of, the, uh, uh, of course, the most important on board. And we have uh, a very large return of guests to this particular ship here out of Fort Lauderdale, Florida, and also when we're based in Southampton uh, in the UK, which has uh, 14 day itineraries down to the Mediterranean, some cruises down to the Canary Islands, up into Norway, and Baltic cruises as well. So it's a very diverse set of cruises that we operate and a very diverse program that we have to uh, plan for with our ever changing demographic and age group on board. Well, 2013 is uh, a very exciting year for this particular ship. We head into what's called dry dock in April of this year. And uh, although the ship is in very, very good shape, there's some new features coming onto the vessel itself. We have a brand new large screen uh, outside uh, TV, which will be placed on the pool deck so we can do a lot more events uh, and movies and uh, filming of pool events and all those good things up on uh, deck 11 and deck 12. In addition to that, the ship will take uh, uh, refurbishment in various areas and uh, put it back up to the modern day that uh, uh, it was but as I said it's a great ship as it is and very well looked after so um, it's an exciting time for uh, for the ship itself. We also have new itineraries this year heading up to Norway uh, which is the first time this ship has done that. We have 6, 8 and 14 night cruises up into the Norwegian fjords and up into the uh, some of the Baltic areas uh, of Europe and then down to the uh, Mediterranean 14 day cruises and down to the Canary Islands as well so the sunshine is where we tend to head on this particular ship and hopefully fingers crossed we'll be getting that in Norway as well hello I'm Carmina from Philippines and I'm working here in the perfume shop here on Royal Caribbean Independence of the Seas so if you happen to pass by the Royal Promenade, come and visit me at the Perfume House. Thank you! Hello, my name is Iona Aston. I work for Royal Caribbean uh, International. Uh, this is the BG uh, Turner $10 range. Everything's $10 here. Yeah. Hi guys, my name's Emma. I'm from the Independence Day Spa. I've been in the ship for the last a year and a half. We have everything here from manicures, pedicures, massage, facials, you name it, we have it. We even do for formal nights. We have Medi Spa and we have acupuncture as well. If you want to come and look for your formal nights, you just want a gentle massage, please see us next cruise. Thank you. Hi everyone, my name is Dr. Taran Prasad. Uh, I'm originally from India. Uh, I live in the United States. I'm uh, the Medi Spa doctor on board here. In we're on the independence of the seas, and I do all the cosmetic procedures like Botox, cosmetic, uh, Dysport, and also uh, the dermal fillers like Restylane and Perlin. Good evening ladies and gentlemen, my name is Kumar. I am all the way from other side of the world, it's called India. I'm the choice manager here on board. I do work for this company almost 18 years. And this is the restaurant, it's the best steakhouse in the world. If you have any special occasion, please celebrate your special celebration in this restaurant. And it will be a good memory for your whole life. Thank you and have a nice evening. Uh, 
Good morning, my name is Anthony Sequeira and I'm the restaurant Portofino manager who is in charge of the Italian restaurant and uh, I come from India. On board the Independence of the Seas, we have got two specialized uh, restaurants. Uh, one is the Chops, uh, which are uh, specialized in steaks, and the second one is the uh, Portofino, the Italian restaurant. The, once you're on board, please don't forget to come back uh, in Portofino's and enjoy the nice Italian cuisine. And thank you and bye-bye. My name is Glenn, all the way from India, and I'm a head waiter. I'm in charge of the waiters, assistant waiters, and the overall supervising of the dining room and the back of the house. Uh, fully in charge of the dining room and the wind jammer, and would like to see you all on the independence of the seas in the near future. Hello. My name is Joe and I'm from India. I'm the waiter on the independence of the seas. I've been working for Royal Caribbean for 10 years. I hope to see you on your next cruise. My name is Kenneth, I'm the executive chef on board the Independence of the Seas. I'm from Denmark. Uh, all our menus uh, we cook up every day. Uh, first we make one sample of each dish every lunch, every dinner. Um, we get all the chefs together, all our chef to parties, we all taste the food and we discuss if there's any adjustment needs to be done until we finish the production and the food goes into the dining room to make sure that everything is 100% uh, up to standards. Okay, now we're going to take you on a little tour behind the scenes. Uh, first we're going to go into the pantry where we produce all uh, our salads, our appetizers and all our canopies for all our uh, concerts lounge and uh, all our uh, private function. Okay, and here's our pastry. This is a 24-hour production. Um, we have one team that works at night time that makes most of the main production. Then in the morning another team, a pastry chef, comes in and they will plate up and decorate everything during the day. Also we're making chocolate covered strawberries here. Uh, Petit fours, uh, also for our lounges and uh, everything for the dining room. Next we got our bakery. Everything is baked freshly on board uh, by our bakery team of six people. They are also 24 hour operation split up in two shifts. Um, so we always have fresh baked uh, bread on board. I'm also overall in charge not only for this beautiful dining room here, but also for our speciality restaurants like Chops, Portofino, Sorrento's, Cafe Promenade, our lounges. I hope you'll take the opportunity to come and visit us on Independence of the Seas and to try out uh, some of our fantastic food we're producing on board in all our restaurants. Okay, thank you very much for taking this little tour in the galley and to see all our fantastic uh, outlets and I hope to see you on board the Independence of the Seas.
name's Lauren Korshaw. I'm from Indianapolis, Indiana. I am cruising with my whole salon team from G. Michael Salon in Indianapolis. Uh, first time on Royal Caribbean and it's been amazing. Great excursions that we had a lot of fun in Jamaica doing along with the Caymans. A really cool flow rider up top on the boat so you can kind of get your own taste of boogie boarding which I miserably failed at but a lot of fun. And the music, the cruise director Joff has been a lot of fun and great shows at night. Fantastic performers. It's been wonderful. It really has been. Um, there's a lot of activities. We've been enjoying um, the skating show, the um, excursions. We've had some ex excellent excursions, real immersion into um, some adventures. And the food has been wonderful and they've been very accommodating. Now if there was one thing that you really loved about this cruise, what would that be? Um, that I get to relax. Okay. I haven't had to worry about anything on the ship at all. So I was really nice. They took good care of you. Yes. Okay. It's been phenomenal. I was really impressed with the cleanliness, with the service, the food. Um, I was I was really, really impressed with the service. I did not meet one crew member who was rude or unfriendly. Everyone was kind, very accommodating. Um, I love it so far. Oh. Hi, my name is Nicole Fowler. I work for G. Michael Salon. We're here on a wellness trip. Um, today is our last day on the Independence of the Sea. I'm sad to see it go, but I had a blast while here. Favorite part was by far laying on the pool deck, listening to the Jamaican music. Um, yeah, it's been so fun. Love the food, love the employees. They're very fun to be around, very friendly. Um, our room was amazing. Love seeing our stuffed animals every morning and night. And yeah, best trip so far. I will definitely be coming back.